The first thing we'll do is we'll go to facebook.com, go into the settings on the left hand menu and click on manage apps. Here we'll give the app a display name and then click create app ID. Now in the settings for the app, we should see the app ID and the app secret. Next, we'll go to the command line and we'll create a new React app by running npx create React app. Next, change into the new directory and install AWS Amplify. Once you have the Amplify CLI installed, run Amplify init to initialize a new Amplify project. Here, you'll give the project a name, the environment a name, choose your default editor, and then choose the defaults for the rest of the questions. When prompted for the AWS profile, choose the profile that you'd like to use for this project. Once the project's been initialized, we can then add authentication by running Amplify Add Auth. For the configuration, we'll choose the default configuration with Social Provider. We'll choose Username to sign in, and then we'll choose No for any advanced settings. Here we'll be given a domain prefix that we can either accept or add a custom domain prefix. Next, we'll set localhost 3000 as the sign-in redirect and localhost 3000 as the sign-out redirect. Finally, we'll choose Facebook as the social provider and then press enter. Here we'll be prompted for the Facebook app ID and app secret. Now the authentication has been configured locally and we can deploy it by running Amplify Push. Once the authentication service has been deployed, we'll be given our hosted UI endpoint. We can also access this hosted UI endpoint within our project in the aws-exports.js file. We'll copy this domain to our clipboard and then jump back to the Facebook app. We'll paste the domain in the app domain and then give a temporary privacy policy and service term URL. Next, we'll scroll to the bottom of the page and click Add Platform, choosing Website as the type of platform. For the site URL, we'll select https colon slash slash adding in our app domain and then appending slash OAuth2 slash IDP response. Once the site URL has been saved, we'll click on products and then add Facebook login. We'll choose web as the platform. We'll then click on settings, scroll to the bottom, and then add the valid OAuth redirect URIs. Here, we'll enter https colon slash slash our domain, then slash OAuth2 slash IDP response. To make the app live, we'll toggle the off switch to on, choosing a category, and then clicking switch mode. Now that the app is live, we can test it out. 
We'll first need to configure our React app to work with Amplify. To do so, open index.js, import Amplify from AWS Amplify, the config from AWS exports, and then call amplify.configure passing in the config. Next, in app.js, we'll import the auth class from AWS Amplify. In this component, we'll create a button that says sign in with Facebook that when clicked, we'll call auth.federated sign in, passing in Facebook as the provider. We'll also create a generic button that allows us to sign in with either Facebook or username and password by calling auth.federated sign in without any arguments. To test this out, we'll run npm start. Once the user is signed in, we can create a function called check user that we'll call auth.currentAuthenticatedUser and allow us to log out the information associated with the currently signed in user. When we call check user, we'll see that we have some information about the currently signed in user, including their username and their email address. 